Hi, I'm Daniel Walker here with Laura Ferguson at the Youth Resources Building. The Youth Resources Building is located on the lower level of the First Federal Bank office here in Evansville, Indiana. Laura, how are you doing today? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I am great. So what is your background here with Youth Resources? I'm currently the executive director, but I'm also an alumna. So I was involved in all four of Youth Resources programs when I was in high school and through college. So can you explain what Youth Resources does for the community? Sure, so Youth Resources exists to engage students in leadership and community service. And we do that through four programs. Can you tell us what the four programs are? Absolutely, we have our Make a Difference Grants program, Vandenberg County Teen Court, the Teen Advisory Council, and Teen Power. So what do the four programs, what do they do for the community? Make a Difference Grants is our grant making arm. It's our founding program. So Youth Resources was founded on this service learning um, grant initiative. Make a Difference Grants are available to students and student groups. So 4-H, school classrooms, Girl Scouts, things like that, who are interested in doing a community service project that is youth led. Um, and they need a little bit of funding to get that project off the ground. So we offer grants of up to $750 for students to do community service projects. Vandenberg County Teen Court is uh, a diversion program for first-time juvenile offenders. We also serve within that program high school students who are interested in volunteering in a real court of law at a proceeding for uh, a juvenile. So those first-time offenders come to us and they've committed a uh, minor crime and we do an intake with them and we have what we call a sentencing hearing where student volunteers act as jurors, bailiff, prosecuting attorney, defense attorney, and judge's assistant, and they're mentored by licensed adult attorneys from the community. Um, at that sentencing hearing, uh, they present the case, and they decide what disposition that um, juvenile should receive. And we want them to engage that student in restorative justice, so positive outlets for them, um, ways that they can get involved in the community and right some of the wrongs that they may have um, created because of their offense. The Teen Advisory Council is a group of about 100 students from all over Evansville and Castle in, um, in Newburgh. And they meet every other Friday morning at 5.55 a.m. Um, during the school year. And they are really, really probably our most visible students in the community. They perform over 2,000 hours of community service each year. They have some requirements for them to maintain their membership on the council. Um, and they also serve on one of the council's committees and they each do different kinds of service and fundraising events throughout the year. And then our Teen Power program uh, is focused on two conferences in the summer. And we have one for high school students at the University of Evansville and one for middle school students at the University of Southern Indiana. And those conferences were founded as substance abuse awareness and prevention conferences. And then they've kind of grown into a combination of that and leadership development because we know that Students make good choices when they're around positive peers, um, but we want to make sure that they are strong enough to make good choices when they're not. Um, so we really develop those leadership skills in them and their ability to kind of be strong in the values that they hold. Outside of the conferences, Teen Power also operates in clubs in our local schools um, where those students are engaged in healthy lifestyle choices and community service throughout the year. I am now joined by Jeremy Brown. He is the program coordinator here at Youth Resources for Teen Power. Jeremy, how are you doing today? I'm great, Danielle. Thanks for having me. All right. Since you're the program coordinator here at Teen Power, can you give us a little bit of your background here at Youth Resources? Yeah, so my background in Teen Power, I came as a camper uh, in 2006 uh, to the conference at the University of Evansville. And Laura Ferguson, our executive director, was actually my family group uh, leader. My youth staff is what we call um, the youth high school leaders in the community. Uh, and she kept me involved after uh, that first conference, and I came back as youth staff, um, served three years in high school and then through college. And now a couple of years removed from college, I'm back in, in, the, in the coordinator role. So uh, this is going on year 11 for me at Teen Power. So you mentioned being a camper. Can you explain to us what that what Teen Power Camp is? Yeah, so Teen Power Camps, there are two conferences over the summer, uh, one designed for high school students and one designed for middle school students. Uh, and like Laura told you earlier, uh, they're leadership conferences um, that focus on uh, substance-free living, so um, drug and alcohol-free lifestyles. Uh, and we're all about developing those youth leaders and providing them a support system of people who have like-minded values. Uh, and so we really focus on uh, that, that positive energy and that positive community. Um, and it's 
uh, become a very vibrant program for us. Uh, almost 200 campers at both high school and middle school camp last year. Uh, so we're, our program is really thriving right now. So outside of the summer Teen Power Camp, what else does Teen Power do? So Teen Power goes on year-round throughout the school year. The conferences are kind of uh, the culmination of all the fun that we have throughout the year. Um, but we're in 38 schools throughout the area, uh, 12 high schools and 26 middle schools. Um, and so those clubs are doing service projects and events uh, to kind of create that community just like the camps do, um, but in those schools. And they perform service projects. We can grant them money if they came to our camp. Mm -hmm. um, we'll give them a certain amount of money um, based off how many campers they brought. And they'll complete those projects throughout the year. And they'll come back to Teen Power with their teams over the summer. And they'll start planning their project for the next school year, all while having a bunch of fun. So is it important to be involved in your school's Teen Power and then going to Teen Power Camp? Yeah, it's, like I said, it's kind of the culmination. So uh, you're involved in the school year uh, with the program and you're doing fun things with your club and meeting after school and planning those projects uh, and talent shows and events and all the things that Teen Power Clubs plan. And then at the end of the year, you come with your classmates uh, with schools from all around the area. So kids from Bossy and Central and Castle and North and Wrights and Modern Day and Memorial, they all come uh, together at one school, all their teams. Uh, and we just have you know, a lot of fun with 200 kids from around the community. Okay, so you say all the programs at Youth Resources, they're youth-led. Yes, right. yes, that's what we're all about here at Youth Resources, youth-led, uh, empowering youth to be leaders through community service. And uh, so every program we have, all four of them, they are youth-led. And Teen Power, specifically, uh, how youth lead that, there's a thing called Youth Staff, and it's made up of 37 high school students that are involved in their Teen Power clubs in the community, um, the kind of veterans of our conferences that have been there a while, all about the Teen Power spirit. Uh, and they completely facilitate those camps over the summer. So my specific role uh, as the program coordinator is to train them throughout the spring and early parts of the summer. And then what, once camp happens, that youth staff, they run the show um, for all the participants.